Okay guys, we're gonna fish the Tennessee River again today, but we're on a different section. Um, yesterday and the day before, we, we concentrated on deep water flats. Uh, today, I wanna concentrate on some structure, and we've got some real good structure right here uh, around this curve. I don't know if you can see it or not. But we're gonna drift up in this, this ledge right there. We're gonna drift into deep water, and then this right here kind of attracts me to these uh, stair step drop offs. So we're gonna drift some baits around this structure and see what we can get today. Hang tight, and let's get some baits in the water. All right, guys, we're running uh, six poles today, two of them. I got double hook rigs on with full skipjacks, uh, the other one's just cut skipjack, but big skipjack. Uh, we're going to look for that big bite this morning, but what we're doing is fishing the old riverbed of the Tennessee River. As you can see right here on the depth finder, where the water has cut the old... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at here. I don't know what it is. Oh. I thought this might be that double hook rig. But what we're doing is fishing the old... Tennessee River riverbed. Following the contours of that and hoping to get some fish up. Well, bingo, here we go. I don't know what he is, how big he is, or what. He don't seem real big, but we're just getting started this morning, so hopefully we'll have a good day. There he comes. He's decent. Any of them's always fun to catch. All right, guys, you see how they're floating on top of water like that? He's gonna struggle to get back down because he hasn't decompressed just yet. Now, I know I hate to harp on that, but guys, when you're pulling these big fish up out of the deep, He got mother line tangled with it though, but when you pull these fish up out of the deep, you got to let them decompress. Otherwise, when you turn them loose, they're just not going to be able to get back down. All right. I'm on Neddy. Just because he's got two hooks in him. I don't know where the other ones are. Yeah, let me get my boat straight. There's a mess. But, that fish hit a double hook rig. This, this fish hit a whole skipjack. Yeah, he hit a whole skipjack, but it doesn't even look like his mouth's big enough for that skipjack, but it is what it is. Okay, let me fix these two lines back up and we'll get back at it. It's fish number one. And hopefully we catch a big one today. Alright guys, we worked this little ledge around this uh, channel bend a little bit. Probably for a three quarter of a mile and, and didn't really get nothing. There's a lot of bait here and I do see some fish but they don't seem to be active. But just because you find a good good piece of structure on the river doesn't mean they're always going to be there. Uh, it doesn't mean that you don't come back and try to fish it again. But uh, we're going to head down river and try another spot. What we're doing is working the old Tennessee River uh, river bottom, uh, the, the main channel itself. Trying to pull up one of the big granddaddies using big baits. We're gonna find them somewhere today, but like I say, you can't always get them the first time out. Sometimes you have to work for them. All right, I'm gonna go down river and find me another 
buy me another ledge to fish on that main channel. All right, here is that ledge I'm interested in right here. Right here. I'm gonna go work that and see what that brings for us. Hang tight. This is where I want to be. 54 foot of water. We are directly in the main river channel of the Tennessee River, the old riverbed. And we're going to drift down these contours. Get my navigational depth finder working up here. Get my Game Boy hooked up there so I can stay on that ledge. And we're going to be started. Alright, a lot of guys ask me how often I change my baits. Uh, the first drift we made this morning, I put all fresh baits on and we worked them for probably an hour hour and 15 minutes we soaked them in the water that long they probably would catch some fish but i just feel better if we go ahead now that we're in a new new spot to uh, put all fresh bait on it but i guess to answer a lot of a lot of guys questions about an hour hour and a half and especially when you move to a new spot and then again we're wanting big fish so I'm gonna cut big baits. And my preferred presentation method today is gonna be a suspended drift and we're gonna control that drift. I like to sling that out there like that and then kind of keep tension while I'm letting it to the bottom on it so uh, so it doesn't, that big bait doesn't start twirling and wrap everything up by the time it hits the bottom you just got a big tangled mess. It hit bottom. We'll crank it up three or four or five times until we see what they want. stay in contact with that sinker feeling it as it drops down it'll save you a lot of time from the tangle like I said and he hit bottom this next one is a double hook rig so I'm on all right, this next one's a double hook rig. We're gonna flay part of the side off and cut him. You never know. To 
big boy might be right under the boat that'll take this bait. Come here. There's our first double hook rig. This is generally the one I got pointed to my front depth finder up here kind of keep an eye on where my bait should be. I see one big fish down there. All right, we want to stay between 0.2 and 0.4 mile an hour. Not six, not seven like I'm doing now. I need to slow her down. Decent fish. He come up too fast. He was laying right down on that old river channel. What's a pretty one? He ain't big, but he is sure pretty. Clear water, man. Okay. He don't want to be on my hook. He 
you don't want to be on my hook. All right, let's see if he's ready. All right, guys, he's not a huge fish, but this is the kind of fish you can catch fishing these old river channels in these lakes that they've impounded. All right. Let's see. If he... Goodbye, buddy. Okay, let's get this and bait it back up and we'll go find a bigger one. Hopefully. Look here. Oh, that one there. I can't even get him out of the rod holder. Dang, that's such force. Oh, mercy. I tried to get him away from my other lines. He took that bad boy and run. He was full steam ahead. All right, we're gonna kind of slowly bring him up. He's kind of settled down now. There he is. Oh, he ain't as big as I thought he was. Looks like that other one's twin. Man, he hit that dude hard. I thought I had a 20 pounder. He had so much pressure on that rod holder. I'd say not another big one, but uh, these fish are a lot of fun. And we catch, like I say, catching them on that, uh, the old river channel. It's a good solid fish though. There he goes. Let him get rid of that excess. Man, I thought he was a 40 pounder the way he hit. He was taking drag. He must have hit that at 20 mile an hour. Turn you loose in a minute, buddy. Yeah, that's a good solid fish right there. Anywhere you go. Very nice fish. But he ain't the one we're looking for. I thought he was. But... Woo! Back down to the bottom. All right, we've had a pretty rough day today. We've had to actually work for these fish. We caught one early this morning, and then we caught another one about 10.30. And then this one here, I'd say it's about 11, 11.30, 12 right now, but I'm gonna stick around, try to stick around for a big fish. But, you know, we are finding them on the old river channel in, uh, in about 45, 50 foot of water. I haven't had any luck on my double hook rig today. I, well, I caught the one little fish on a double hook rig, but they've been hitting small, smaller baits. So we like to give them what they want, so we find some action. 
We don't sense having rods and reels out there. We're baited to the max and not catching nothing. All right. Hit the bottom. Check the sinker down a little. Put it to rod holder. Okay guys, it's getting a little too hot out here. We gave it a heck of a shot. We did catch three fish today. It wasn't the fish I wanted to, to catch, but uh, we can't catch big fish every time we go out. But, if you guys take what I've showed you here and apply it to uh, you know, other rivers, impoundments that have rivers or creeks to run through them, get on those creek edges or channel edges, and drift some baits, suspend some baits over them, and the catfish hopefully will bite your line too. When I leave, there'll be a 60 pounder hit that. Okay guys, again, thanks for watching my videos. Hope uh, you come back and check us out again.